Yo. Hey, you gotta sell it for me right here. Give me everything you got right here on this play. Come on, babe. Got a down roll over here. Get this sound on now? Yeah, it's on. I wasn't sure whether I might move the opposite side there because I can't see the right handed hitters. Okay. I'm gonna hit over the other side, is that alright? No, that's that's fine. Okay, alright, thanks. Oh. <laughs> We're picking up the game. Here in the bottom of the second inning. It's a regional contest between Muskegon Catholic Central and Beale City Aggies. First inning is one, two, three for both teams. Catholic's number two hitter Nick Holton lead off third for the Crusaders, 4 0 0. First inning. Catholic and Beale City both down both went down one, two, three. Thank you. 
Steel City went down one, two, three in there at the bottom of the second. Our leadoff hitter here in the top of the third, Nick Holt, the pitcher. Number 14. This is a ground out. Rebecca. Now hitting for Catholic. Center fielder Jason Rebecca. Pitching for Beale City is Ty Rollin. Beale City is 26, 10, and 1 on the year. Steve Catholic Central is 23 and 8. There's a foul ball for strike one. Come on, Jake. Another low pitch for a ball. This is two and one on Rebecca. Jason Burke, Rebecca draws a walk. Next batter is Dominic De Torres, Number first 19, baseman. Dominic De Torres. Rollin, the pitcher, seems to be taking his time trying to delay the, the pitches from time to time. Catholic Central's kind of clued in on that now, and they tend to step out. Been a lot of timeouts called. There's a pitch just low, 1-0. Ball too low. It's another ball, three and all. So Catholic's trying to get off to another good start this inning. We've got one down. Ball four. There's two runners at first and second. There is yeah, one out this inning. Kind of catch up where we are right now. We're at Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart Academy Field Complex. It looks like a fairly new field. It's a little bit strange configuration. It's only 290 down now right field line, City, but they have about a 15 foot Ryan high Marshall. fence. Oh my God! Hi. Deal City is his new pitcher coming out, Ryan Marshall. He 
who was a shortstop. Looks like Rollin will move over to that position. So we're at the top of the third inning, score ties 0-0, zero, zero. new pitcher on the mound for How batting, number 8, Alex Lowendowski. The Eel City Aggies is Ryan Marshall and Alex Lewandowski at bat for the Crusaders. He's Alex is a designated hitter today, we got to walk the, the second inning. Marshall tries to pick off the second. Jason Becky's back in safe. This is the first game Alex is Alex Lundowski has batted for a while. He had a minor problem for a little bit. He had to, he could play defensively, but he couldn't play, couldn't hit swing the bat. Strike call on Alex. The umpire behind the plate is very slow with his calls. It's hard to tell what a pitch is. You have to wait several seconds between the time the ball hits the catcher's mitt and the ump makes the call. There's a ball high and inside, so it counts one and one. There's a bunt by Lewandowski, throw to first, so that was a great sacrifice by Alex. Runner second, third, we have two down now. Coming up to Tony Carroll, the right fielder, number 16. So Catholics trying to get their rally going number here. 16. They got the base loaded on the standing. Score pop up in the right fielder, second baseman spot. And then the last batter for the Crusaders struck out. So let's see if we can get some runs on this one. High and inside, there's ball one. Swing for a strike, counts one and one. Oh, that was a cold strike. Looked a little bit outside, but the ump's always right. Very slow with the calls. It's hard to figure out on those pitches just exactly what happened. I got a one and two count on Carroll. There's a pitch high, two and two. Yeah, 
fall back over the concession stand behind the backstop. Hey, stay with it, man. Buenos ojos! Oh boy, oh boy, we're shaking. Big mom's ahead. There's strike three.